Good evening, Fatalo Fatu, Ne Fui Afiafi, or what Yaso Fui Neva Yaso. Hope everyone had a wonderful time worshiping our Lord on this first day of the week. No, oh, La Samo Moa for the Ne O Tesema, or Tato Latalata to Fui. The Fayunga for your name for its availing on Nato Sanga to Maupia, the Alofa to Maupervi Inga, the Tato to Ma Langi, on a Lofa Molonanga lay on Fayland for Popo Pier, Yer Niaso, for Manuia for Yaso Taitasi, the Tato Wolanga. Again, thank you our to our. Uh, friends and family of our Talofa Bible readers for being a part of our study. So grateful that you can study God's word with us. Please leave it with the comments below and we will love to answer that from the word of God. So good to have this uh, avenue, to have this uh, platform, uh, internet, that we could study God's word and continue to strengthen one another. Jesus' Sermon on the Mountain in Matthew chapter 5, and we see verse 1 all the way to verse 12. Matayo na lima, alono mata upu na e mo mo si fa ngata ma fa upu sun ma And let me just uh, share this real quick. So we could see that this is uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Mountain. Uh, you, you have heaven in the Gospel of Matthew, in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. But for today, we want to study Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. Uh, this is also known. Uh, the Beatitude, verses 3 to verse 12. But we'll explain more of the verse as we go into the to our study this evening. We could see a sermon of great attitude. As Jesus is introducing here, the influence of blessing. First, we have the behavior or the attitude of the righteous in Matthew 5, verse 3 to 12. The influence of blessing. Also, we see the obedience required of those who uh, would enter his kingdom. Matthew 5, verse uh, 17 to verse 20. And there's so much lesson that we will find in here in this lesson. Uh, because there are so many misconceptions. As we study today, so first we could see Tato uh, Suina, Tato Mataupu, and final Tato Iloa, Jesus. 
uh, speaking here, and he is uh, preaching from the mountain, the location. And we see that Itangata Utaya, or the uh, uh, what is it? Um, Jewish, not uh, yeah, Jewish. E fai mama sanyo lato ona mana olea e o ilunga mo me ma walunga. E yela to manatu e fa alata lata atu lea ilea tuo. When they go on to a high place, bo lunga maunga, e yela to manatu ole a ama walunga ma me o tapu a yea elata lata for na ilea tuo. But we could see that here the location is on the mountain who is speaking here we could see that jesus is the master teacher he's speaking here and in the end of this chapter um, what jesus will, will say there um Pemelato, no one has uh, spoken the way Jesus was teaching. So as we um, talk about this, we could see here in Matthew chapter 5, uh, we see uh, Jesus as he speaks here in um, this parable, or he's speaking here, is known as the Beatitude. And then after the chapter, they were uh, astonished. They were um, so um, found that nobody uh, was teaching the way Jesus did. So now we look at the audience as we study this chapter, the audience where we see his disciples on uh, our And also we see from the beginning of Matthew chapter five and verse um verse one we could see that there were the multitude you know that follow him so uh as we study this chapter matthew 5 uh we want to study it and what lesson that we can draw from it but yet it is so important because yet this is one of those verse this chapter is taken out of place sometime if we don't study it well. So again, Talofa Anti PC all the way from Carson, California. Glad you can join us this evening. And that's our introduction of our lesson this evening, uh, the Sermon of Jesus on the Mountain. Uh, but we want to focus here in Matthew chapter 5. And we look at the setting, the location on the mountain. We have covered that. The speaker here we see is Jesus, uh, and he was speaking with authority. And the audience was not only his disciples uh, and also the multitude that follow him. So that brings us to our first part of our lesson. Uh, let's look at the state of the subject. Here we see from verse 3 to verse uh, 12, Jesus used the word blessed. And we see he said blessed all the way from verse 3 to 12. Blessed are the poor in spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven. And we will touch that. But notice that Jesus used the word blessed. The subject of the early verses of the Sermon on the Mountain are described constantly by the this adjective blessed and knowing in, in the english language that it should be noted that uh that subject follow the linking verb throughout this section so let am find out of ile upu le ile amatanga lava le launga yesu ilunga le mama and it's recorded in matthew 5 6 and 7 in the gospel of matthew and we see that this word blessed, it carries the idea of how, um, of having a reason for 
and abiding joy. O le winga le upule amuia, but le upule blessed is in another word, fia fia, happy. O lo o mafaila na momoli ma yesu le upule amuia, se vaenga, e mafaila on vape o le fia fia e le mafai on aveseina. O le fia fia le en tu mau. Well, let's, uh, if you have your Bibles, uh, if you, um, I'm sorry, let me get the Bible up here. There we go. If you look at the word blessed, and let's look at the Greek word, from the Greek word makarios, and it carries the here. Blessed or happy. The the definition the blessed happy. So or the upula le 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 fenta to va ye le mo mele upule amuia is um carrying the thought or uh or the or the fia fia le e tu mau. Por the fia fia le e e e le mfaina ave eseina as we uh study here. So this blessed, this is not just a mere happy. Ah, po se um na si awala le mo watangata le fia fia, or se po se manatu wing le a ole mo wale oli oli. This is not something flightly. Na se mea tau lava na se timei po se timei e ma fai le a ona tato. Um, you know, this is this this happiness is not lightly gained. Ole fear fear le, it is a mere final fear on the You know, and we could see here it's not it's rapidly uh it's not lightly gained, rapidly um fluctuating or or easily lost. It is a mere ole se fear fear le. E fia fia nei fa no no taiau fia fia ah se tei mi popo na itu la o le blessed le po le fa amu ia le le upu le e yai le mamafa o le fia fia e tu mau e mau le e tangata tu mau le see this is the state this this blessed this is the state of a Christian who endured trial and triumphantly overcome it. O le fia fia le, o le se tangata kerisiano, ua ia oo i le fainata le o langa, a ua ia mafai ona ia manu malo. Ua mafai le ona ia fato i la loina se mea ua sa ia pa u ese ai, po se mea ua fa vai vai ia ia na ia. Look at this happiness. Go with me to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter... One and verse seven to verse nine. First Peter chapter uh, one and verse seven and verse nine. Look what Peter say here. Look, this is the happy. Ole fa amu iale, ole winga tonu lava le, ole fa amu iale a Jesus. He says that that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perished. Though it be tried with fire, Malaya might be found unto praises and honor and glory and the appearing of Christ. See, la matanga leo de fia fia leo mai. O le tofu tofu fo o lo o to fa tu o tu e silly silly o na unga ile auro e fa umatia e u ilava ina tofu tofu ina ile afi e. Uh, e avea ma mea e hiu i le vi inga. Ma vaya le tato. See, that's that state of happiness. That's that state of the blessed. O le fa amu ia le nar tangata. That is the person that has overcome. And he says here, Nefe mai ma le ma malu, ma le manu ia pe afa ali ma yesu kerisu. See, he says there, Pe a umana tofu tofu. Look at verse 8. 
If we look at verse 8, whom having not seen, yet love, in whom uh, though not, uh, though not, though now ye see uh, him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. But my Lord, Eva, receiving the end of your faith. What is that, Peter? The salvation of your souls. See, ele ele o iloa atu e oto o ia au alo lofa ia te ia ele o va ai atu nei fo ia te ia au lofa atu tu o ia te ia tote ori ori ai ma fia fia ele ma 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 tala tala ina e sili sili e se lava e e mau fo i le i unga o le au lo o to fa atu tu o o le fa au la ina lava o o to wanganga si o le tangata la le na na yai le 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 amuia le le amuia le le fia fia le that's that person that in overcoming trials or in doing trials we could see he is triumphantly wa yatia le oli oli le wa yatia fia fia imagine someone that is competing in the olympics and he cross over with all the hard work and all that he has prepared and overcome. Regardless if he, whatever place that he is placed in the race or in whatever competition, but he will have tears in his eye or pleasing that he has come across. If I be na fo ila tangata lea lo yei ili teimi lea ilfa lea nganga. Wa yate ia le ori ori lea le amu ia lea. Si o le mafu angare na le fa ima ya 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 Yesu o le amu ia le le si amu ia e mawang ofi o le amu ia le tangata le le fa ima Yesu in matayo le lima o le le mawang na ia le oli oli le o le o le tangata le e mawaina le oli oli le e le mavai. As we study today God's word, again let's go back to. Uh, Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 3. Again, Jesus started his sermon on the mountain with the word blessed. This word blessed uh, is not just a regular way for us to be happy. When Jesus said blessed, we see that in 1 Peter chapter 1. Setangata wa ya mawaina le tawi lea ina wa ya manu malo lo mawaila le amu ia lea wa mawaila fia fia lea. We can go also to John sixteen. Tata to wali yone na no mta uposfuma le ono. John sixteen and verse twenty two. Mpa uposlo suma luo. Jesus say and and ye now therefore have sorrowed. But I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh. See, lefa ma yesu le ne wa mawa wa wa mawa ne oto e mawa ne oto le tinga aita to to e felo felo ai ma on oli oli ai le oto loto e le ave ese ina fo i ese tasi. Lo o to oli oli. See, that is what Jesus is saying here in Matthew chapter 5. That blessed is that man, or he's saying, uh, bless is he. Amu ia lea, o le tangata lea e le mafai ona toe ave ese ina, lo na fia fia, ina ua ia maua le mea moni, ina ua ia manu ma lo. So, now let's go in covering the per uh, verses. Let's go back to Matthew chapter five, verse three. Now we see the, and understand what Jesus, uh, the meaning, why he used the word blessed. Or 
happy is he. Happy are the, so this verse we say, happy are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Or blessed are the, pure, uh, are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Poor. Okay. I think that someone um, translation is bringing the meaning of the word poor. But in other words, it's not for up here. I'm a motiva fali anganga. A wa o la to le ma lo o langi. Jesus says here, blessed, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Being poor in spirit, ole mawale tato ole mativa faliyanganga nefe mai is a realization of man's need for God. Ole iloa le leile tangata ole emna omia enaia leatuo. Let me see this. Oh, sorry. So. Lemma fai on a tato vai in the word poor in spirit or tangata lea ua ia i loa e manao mia na ia lea tua. His uh, realization of man's need for God. Em fai lea na tato vai em e loa tangata lea e lea i lava se mea e fa ola i na ina i na ia. He cannot save himself or where can he find salvation how can he be saved even his own effort will not give him heaven the poor in spirit the person that says to himself that i i need i need god that's the person that jesus says here in humility, if you go back to our text. We see the poor in spirit. We could see leloto mawalalolia. This humility would precede exaltation. O le fa mawalalolia tangata ele a manatu fa walunga. He doesn't look at, oh, I don't need salvation. See, this is the person that is saying, I need God. So if we could go, uh, turn your Bibles with me. Go with me to James chapter 4. James chapter 4 and verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. See, that's that person that Jesus is talking uh, here. Because that is uh, the word there. So the Samoan translation, if you look at the Samoan translation, it's bringing the definition of poor in spirit because humble. And we see that uh, this is the person that need God for salvation and that Humbleness, he needs to be humble in the sight of the Lord. So, being in the kingdom, eternal my Lord, to a simply would imply that one was under the rule of 
the King Jesus. A faila o, o tato o lo ye tato tonu te ma lo, put ma lo o yesu. Uh, that means o yesu o tato tupu lea. That means o tato lea e te tau o na fa ma walalo. Lea lam fa ma ye 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 yesu i. Na o la to ye lota mau lalo. Only those who are poor in spirit e ma faila o ne ya ya te ila to le ma lo leo le langi. Remember, few not too long after Jesus was preaching of the kingdom of heaven, we could see the church was established. You know, when people read this, they were thinking not only in Malo Le Langi, but on Malo Lea Faleanganga. This was a spiritual kingdom. That's why he says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of of heaven that means if i may say 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 my lord falitino he didn't say that he was saying the kingdom of heaven and little after this as we see the life of jesus in acts chapter 2 the kingdom came about and we see if you go to colossians colossians Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. See? So Alpha Yatu Yesu in the Matayo le na tato fita matayo lima non fai upotor amu ia lotomo lalo if I saw moa na ye find out of I the poor in spirit that Jesus was talking about blessed are those that in that realize la to ye lotomo lalo. Saying, oh, I don't need salvation. Uh, I, 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 I'm okay with the way I live. That is that attitude. But here we see the attitude. As he was preaching and he was teaching his disciples and those that were gathering there. He can enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we look at the poor in spirit. Then Jesus said in Matthew chapter four, uh, 5 and verse 4. Let's go down to verse 4. Jesus said again, blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. So, this is one of the biggest problems. A lot of people um, take this wrongfully. Yes. I but a little talanoa yesu i i i se um mea faalea faaletino mea faaletino remember we started in math uh in verse three those who were poor in the spirit la to yo le u loto mo la lo la to yo le lo oh mna mea ya ole atua then he come to verse four he say blessed oh are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And again, if we are not careful, again, if we don't study God's word, if, again, if we don't have uh, a, a knowledge of this, if I go fear on a tight tight say in a tato, a lot of churches. But remember we just study that blessed right there in poor, uh, in verse 3. Then, Tato 
o le fie fie lea e le mfaina aviesea. Le tangata uwa manu malo, le upuna blessed. And then we see those who are poor in spirit, o la tou ye fai ma la tou le tofi on malo langi. Malo langi we see later on the church was established. Now we see in verse 4, Jesus said, blessed are they that mourn. Tele na fa o nga e tangata o isi fai fe au ma isi tangata le mau lea. La tou te o ma fai mai a mu ia e fa no noa. It's not talking uh, physically. Because we look at verse 3, those are poor in spirit. Then we see that the church. And then we see in verse 4, blessed are those that mourn. Or they mourn that this is a mourning or a grieving um, over sin. Was a mourning over sin, that sin of, uh, of self, uh, the sin of others, uh, sin in general, recognizing the terrible nature of it. That mourn. And then we see that um, we could see the terrible nature of sin. I see NTPC put up for us here uh, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Yes. Thank you for that, NTPC. So, Lelan Fantato Vailem Le Fano Noalia. It's carrying the 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 the, the thinking. It's, it's letting us know. We go if you turn your Bibles with me. Uh, bring the Bible up. Go with me to Romans chapter six. Go with me to Romans chapter six. Romans chapter six. And verse twenty three. Verse twenty three. I mean verse thirty two. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, that is that morning. A wife at my fan fan in a lato, lato ye wo if for fan no no, uh, ilang sala, lima mafa tu or lang sala. See what Paul says here, for the wages of sin is death. Okay, or the wages of sin or the totongi. A fai, nake aluke fang aluinga. You go to work and then you, um, or you come back home, uh, lala moa loco kong, nakora oya oya mo, made of shaki. Ole kokonginga ole ufainga luenga. Here, ole angasala, ole ole kako unga luele le ulanga angasala. Ole kako kokongila ile ulanga angasala. Ole oki. Ailefe mai paulo i ole ola efa vavau ole ole meafo aifua lea mai lea tua. So that's what Jesus was saying in Matthew chapter 5. On mena lenafa yato yesu il mateo na ilima. As we go back to Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. Ile fa amu ia le na a Yesu, le tangata le na a e fa anua noa. O le fa anua noa le na, e le se fa anua noa fa ale tino. O le fa anua noa na tangata, ile nentato va ile romana e ono non fa upor uo tolu, le mamafa o le angasala. Le na vaita ato e le eise se fa inga vesea le angasala, Ole mea lofa fua e fua ale atua ole ola. So that is what Jesus meant here. La tou ye fa no noa ifo va pe o ka le angasala. And everyone, you know, if we go to Romans chapter 3, verse 23. 
Paul says, therefore all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. See, that means he will be comforted. But yet, if I but do you think does that make sense you will be comfort because if we don't study the text carefully, if I go fear on na avese se tato, tell you what you matter matter I also have the melato to turn off on I la turn me there. I'm here a lot to find no no a wife I'm a fan fan in la to. But Jesus is not talking about a a a a a um Okay. Then we see uh This is uh, we could see olifano nolia. They eat a natalia. Olifano nolia. I'm a failure on a mawa metangata. That's what Jesus means here. Yes. Yes. On fayona sala mo, ma fayile tangata lea na fa aulaina. Look how verse 3 and verse 4 work together. E le ma fayise tangata fa ma walunga. The poor in spirit. Le tangata lea that knows I need God. There is nothing that can help me find or help me for salvation. Le fe me am uye loto ma ulalo wa anha pese tangata e e e e e e e e e e e e e um, Talia ina le tala le lei saula ifa upe fa lo fa mayesu am uye fa no no same thing with poor in spirit la to yo fa mayifo wo fa sa ta ro ina wo avea la wo langa wo avea la wo la le yei remember this is the time before Jesus died lo fa yato la to le fa tu yesu ya te la to am uye fa no no wa fa ma fa na ina la to o le fa no no le I'm a failure on a salamo elato. I'm a failure on a mo elato for our tanga. Watch this. Go with me to Second Corinthians. So if you want to spot here, it's Luke or Nito. Luke or Nito alone mata upo fitu. Alone for upo se fulu. Paul says. But godly sorrow, leah, the fa no no leah, le sa fa sa mo awa o le tangi e tusa ile tua leah tangi leah fa no no leah awa o le tangi e tusa ile tua e tupu wai leah le salamu le na umana na mo mali salamu mai le fa no no leah fa mai lola iya e o o ile ola e le tu e salamu ai. A ole ti nga fa ale lalo langi, e tup wai le oti. See, that godly sorrow, that is the Christian beatitude. Le su e su e tatoun ma tayo yo na e lima. No no fe upe fa. A mu ia e fa no noa, fa no noa le, le ti nga le fa le atua. Le fa no noa le fa le atua, ina ua angasala. Wa vea ua langa, ua uloa le ua langa, le anga lo uola ai. 
I need to repent. They are not invited to a godly sorrow them. It produces, and not only that, it produces uh, uh, um, uh, repenting and salvation, and therefore it comfort. Yeah, listen, me if the upu comfort is it not comforting and assurance that we are saved? Listen, me e mawai se mapusanga inotato wiloa le me mon. Listen, me a mawai ne tato le mafa na fana inotato talitonu ile ile la walar fa olatanga. That is what Jesus says here. So, again, see, Auntie PC want us to read uh, John chapter 16 and verse uh, 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. So, yes, finatato va'ai. Uh, what Jesus says here, uh, I need to look at the context of this. Okay, yes. So, the sorrowful, but your sorrowful shall be turned into joy. So, so thank you, Auntie, for sharing that with us. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 4. But I don't know how you feel. But I don't know how you feel. If I come and I come, mau le, I come and I go of Isi. No, Mela, ye, if I may amu ia e fa no noa, a wa e fa ma fa na fa na ina lato. Never fa pia ang Roma liu gangak. And now I explain the comfort we see from verse 3 and verse 4. E le se fa le tino, or fa le anganga lea. Le tangata na wo or tinga ili lore le angasala. Never may Isu e fa ma fa na fa na, they will be comfort. When they um, are saddened because of their sin and that, that, that sorrowful will lead to repentance and salvation, they will be comforted. Okay, moving on, let's go to verse 5. Again, Jesus said in verse 5, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. The work meek or meekness, uh, i.e., uh, is shown through the perfect example of Jesus. If we go to Matthew chapter 11, if you go to Matthew Eleven, we see Jesus say, the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine uh, babbler a friend of Republican and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. So let find that over IEE. That's how humble that Jesus came. A friend of the sinners, the friends of the uh, publican. But wisdom is justified. Let find that over IEE. You know, uh, Jesus came and he went he was so uh the meekness see we looked at the jewish mindset sought physical reward the tawi le physically. Nanga fo ilena pro misi upper amolato. You know, remember um, the land that Abraham, uh, Abraham promised. The anana ya vatuai ya te lato. So that's what they were saying here. Amu ia e angamalu awa efai malato le tofio nu, meaning. 
a de e i lato manatu e toe a fio mai Iesu, mai a toe nofo e le fia se lautau sanga i Israelu. That's what they, if you know, you go back here to, this is the verse that they use. Matayo na e lima, lono fai upu e lima. Ne fai mai fai mo la toru tofi re nuu. Ta tau e sa mo, this is referring na e in manato la to e toe fo e mai Iesu, le plo misi, le na plo misi, e aper amo e a te i la tou. La tou te, the promised land. So they see this, this inheritance. But whaina ta to va ai. This is referring to the reward, the inheritance which we shall receive uh, in heaven. Never may he blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Latoya um Leanga Malu. Not talking about a mefaritin waiver tangata or lefa may be ayanga malu e alofangia oil nu. But it's talking, Jesus is speaking again. Jesus was speaking to the, his disciples and the Jewish. So it's talking to but this is what Jesus is in saying. Those who are meek will inherit uh, or the kingdom, referring to that land. The physical, uh, the physical land was, was Canaan, and the spiritual land is heaven. Then we come to verse uh, 6, Matthew 5 and verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Hunger and thirst uh, for righteousness is a hunger and thirst for spiritual perfection. La toya le manao ya mawa le atuanga ya mawa le lele. See, if you, we go all the way down to verse 48, la toya, Jesus saying here in verse 48, they want perfection. See, Jesus said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, we see from the hunger and thirst. Le nau nau le fi ai mar fi inu. See, ele ma faina moa ta tou le atamai. Ele ma faina loa ta tou le upu moni. Ele ma faina loa ta tou le me lo mana oi le atua. E o lai ta tou pe ale nau nau ta tou le fi ai mar fi inu me fa le anganga. So he's saying here. You know, we, uh, a person that wants to be perfect, as we go back to verse 6. Ile tomafai le na ia, ia tupu maola fale anganga, ile nau nau ta inga, nau nau, hunger and thirst after physical substance is to the physical extent. Atom fai ta to, yo ta to, exercise, kipi ka ko ai, ma meanga ye, ima na o na oe, ia keulo fika. That's the physical sign. E ngau ngau laka ngaka nga e ala lunga e usu maintain na nga ai, maintain na nko lengi, a misi na nko lengi fare kingo, you could see his disappointment. Au ire fe ma Yesu, blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness. La tole le nau nau, ya mawa le le lenga man atoanga, ya, 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 Grow spiritually. Nana te va aile ta ngatalia. Aile te mi e misi eise a onga tuspaia. Pe eise te mi e misi e faita onga lona tuspaia. E va aita atou e ita pe le fia fia. Le anga fo e o le nau nau. Le mana o le ya ai ma inu fa le anganga. E ma fai le na tupo e fa le anganga. That is the same example we see from the physical side and the spiritual side. And we could see, my little man, Naya Seata, or a Mailea in Salamu. A beautiful picture is given to us by the psalmist. If we go with me to Psalm 42, so if we go to Spaya in Salamu, na, Lord Mata Upefasu Marilua. Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2. Fabu Mua Mafa Upelua. 
as the heart patterns after the water broke, uh, brooks, so patterns my heart after thee, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God, and when shall I come and appear before God? Uh, that is a deer. If you want to know what it, what it means, on a manunga the deer is also il mele il vai tafi in why? For my lola iya or fai salamo le fai upo elua o a fia inu lo wanganga ile atua o o le atua so ifua o a fia ea o te alua alua tuai ya ya iloa ai ya o iluma o le atua. Si, le nau nau ta inga lea, o le fia inu ilo wanganga, ile atua, o le atua soifua. That's the picture. That is what Jesus is saying in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. Amu ia e fia ai ma e fia inu, ile fa le anganga. Ia mau ai, ia tupu maola, ile tu fa le anganga. And again, if we go to um, Psalms chapter 63, Psalm 63, verse 1 and 2. Again, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. We see le nau nau ta inga le na le yamana o ya ai mainu le fa le anganga. As Jesus was talking about in Matthew chapter five and verse five, sermon on the mountain. Le atu wai o lo atu wai lava oi o te ala o te alu sa ili yate oi wa fia inu lo anganga yate oi. He's not saying pour a cup. Le nau nau ta inga le le fia loa le fia mafuta le atua. Ia ai mai nu fa le anganga fa mai la ia ta vita. Wo o matua nau nau atu ia te oi ile nu o nau mati. Elai loa elai loa ai ele ai ni vai. Ia o i loa lo ma losi ma lo ma malu si le a unangi ta vita. Ia o mawaina lo wata mai, ia o mawaina lo maalosi. Your power and glory lo mamalu. Fa afea o na o mawaina lo mamalu, pe afea o te le nau nau e fia aima fia inu fa lea nganga. That is what Jesus is saying. We could see that is, if we go back to Matthew chapter 5, pata to to e fo o yatu tua ili matayo na lo mata upo lima. We see that in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. That is what Jesus, uh, verse 6, that is what Jesus means here. Blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Those who have the hunger, those who have that hunger shall not want for nourishment. For he satisfied the longing soul 
and filleth the hunger so with goodness. See, a fai o tangata le le na unau ese ese le a matangata le ai fa de tino a e te mi te talo tato ya fa onga ya nourishment ya ya ma yele ma losi mo tato or bring nourishment e fa onga yele ma losi le le tangata fa le anganga. Eleto e na unau e mo ma yele na nourishment he will be satisfied. Nefa e mai fa sa mo a wa wa na fa malia ina ili tangata fia inu or tangata matela ina fo i wa ma ona ma ona mai yai yate ia ili mea le lei. See, so as we study this, that is even the psalmist says here, ole ma ona le ma ona fa le anganga can be satisfying. Yo, know, nourishment. Again, let's go back to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. We're almost uh, finished with uh, 6. Let's look at verse 7. Again, Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Merciful, this, merciful, uh, this mercy, a compassionate, beloved, a benevolent is something uh, learned from Jesus who was willing to forgive those who were actively putting him to death. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Look what Jesus said in Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23 and verse 34. Luke 23 and verse 34. As Jesus was hanging uh, on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they have done or have do. So, that is that merciful. That is the example na may na ile be added to le ta to to su su in le matayo na le ma no fa u pu le na fitu as you say blessed are the merciful so a lesson that we can see from here is also a necessity on the part of those who would receive mercy uh, from the father of mercy na mi fo ta to on fa ali atu le le u pu le alo um, it's the same thing because but we could see the love of the father he loved us if you go to second corinthians chapter one and verse three my blessed be god even the father of our lord jesus christ the father of mercies Look at that. The word mercies and the God of all comfort. So it's up to us too. We are to be merciful. You know, we need to be compassionate, uh, benevolent. Then we go to Matthew um, chapter uh, 5 and verse 8. Jesus says there, Blessed are the uh, pure in heart, for they shall see God. So the pure in heart have not merely been uh, washed, but have a truly been cleansed. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart. See, le pure heart le na yatato fa la talata atu ia maleloto fa maoni. 
That is what it means by pure, blessed are the pure in spirit. The pure in heart is those that do things that we see here at the Hebrew uh, writer say in Hebrew chapter 10 and verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled uh, from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. So, lem fanta tova ai, loto fa maoni il fatu tua, wa mauti noa lava, wa sausa wina otato loto naile manatu ifo waleanga. See, that's what Jesus, le winga ton wale na amuia e loto mama, pure conscience, tato te. Uh, faya mea uma ile uh, awala le lei. Lo faya ta to mea. Sometimes uh, we do things without knowing. Na faya ka kouya le loko mama a ye isi e fa masingo inga. O ye na manga oringole e fa ile a male a ye mawele a. But you're doing it with the cure, pure heart. Na na fa maye su ile matayona e lima le ta to su su ina. The Sermon on the Mountain. Na efa mai amuia e loto a mama awala tote lo atu le tuo. Pure in heart. Wa uma mea ta tote faya. Sometimes we do things in a pure heart, and yet e loto e ta ule anga ina lava oi. Sometimes, sometimes we do things because uh, we know it's good from the Word of God. O ta to tute fa kerisiano. And yet, um, we don't get any recognition. Or if I bet on that, I will fire in all I have me and my way I have the inga. See, yes, I eat it on that. Or if I am me, I am my way the inga. But I fight for that oil. Oh, lot of my mind, the pure heart. I eat it me. I eat on that. If I eat to eat it, oh, eh, on that. If I am me, le kakaunga fight. Oh, go with me to James chapter four. So if you want to see Jacob on a farm, James chapter four and verse eight. Again, James say, "Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you." Watch this: cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Yet double-minded, ye fama ma nefe ma ye oto fa la ta la ta tu ile tu wa. On a fala talata mai lea o ia yati o tou, tangata anga sa lai, ia fafano yati o tou lima, o o tou e fa loto loto luai, ia fa mama o tou loto. Longo fi e lava ka ngaka e ele ma fai o nga mauku so nga mangaku. Por ka ngaka le leva ai ta tou, le ta o ta tou double-minded. Or esele le me fai unga fai i ko uma ko suidi si fai unga i uma es es lava. In other words, ele mausaliro nga mafau fau. Kanga kala nga ele o yai se pure in heart. Longo fiera kanga kala nga ngai fai a mea ya mauai mea pe fai nga ia mea ya mauai longa viinga. Because ele o mausaliro nga mafau fau. E fa loto loto lua. The word says here double minded. Again, James say a double-minded man is not stable because langa fo ye le o le o tasilo na mafau fau le o pure e le o fa ye ngaiya se mea i le loto mama o lo fa ye ngaiya either ye mauai se mea me fa mai lei o fa ye ngaiya mea i a a ye koi mauai mai ni si mea or or some something you you can bring that up but you can see here. Ole mafu anga tonu lava le na nefe ma Yesu amu ia e loto mama la to te vaile ona la to va ayatu ile tu they can see God because their their minds are clear. No wonder why Jesus said to his disciples, "Fa Yesu yon auso 
to utter mighty or might. You know, when you see the kids, they are pure. They mama lava la toroto. Aoa ke me pisa ela ko ye pisa. And when that is done, it's done. You know, ele vaika ko poka ko ye makukua. Au manga pisa ngei. Ya lela u marka usanga o la ae o umaya. Kero ngo fie voi la i me afai. Au main isi po se au roku, po se po se kalapu, po ngi a... Se meo se aonga. Kero ngo fie lava e yeile me o lo o a mamafa i mafa o fau po fete na i se au uso. Kero va ai i fisili ma mea fa awi nga. E te va ai lava e sau ma ia fa pena o lo o ka ma fai lea i a kusi le lima i a fa a sao i se seri ngo rea. Po le a lar ka ka ma nga o e fa a sao i luma le lau keli. E le maua e se mau poponga ango e le o ma maare a mainga. See, that's why Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart. They can see God. E a vatu lea le fa ma losi lea te i la tu. And if you go with me, uh, if you turn to 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. And verse 22. Watch this. Seeing ye have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfailing love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a, with a pure heart fervently. In other words, what Peter is saying, you that were baptized, you Christian, what are you saying, Peter? Okay, you were purified. Then Peter says, through the spirit of the unfailing love of the brethren, see that he loved alofa letasi letasi, with a pure heart. What Peter is saying, Afayoha or Kerishiano, or Usofa Kerishiano lea, a letter tau on a toy, yes, a mea, a mafailea on a otamafai, a lama lama ina, a lot of mafailea, a yes, a mea tinga, a lot to, tamafailea, because Afay or Faula ina tato, my le tato, talitono matato, a wai ilupomonia lianga, was suia tato. We are changed. We are no longer our old people. Pure heart. I'm thinking pure heart. As we do things in a pure conscience. That is pure heart. But we could see a double minded person. E ma fai lea, e le o mau tutu lo na ma fau fau, ango le e i fo le mea lea ma na oai. E le mea na e fia ma waina. A le ava ai tātou mo mwope te ru lea, o tātou i wa fao laina i le tātou talitonu le upomoni. Nea fai mai, ya matu a fe alofani ai o to wai ma le loto nau nau. Pure heart fervently. So, we see... Um, almost finished. We're almost finished here. Go to Matthew chapter 5. Uh, beatitude. Verse, uh, chapter, verse 9. 
Again, Jesus says here, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Peacemakers. Christians are commanded. Hebrews chapter um, 12. Hebrews chapter 12, we are commanded and verse 14. But my pre Christian are commanded to follow peace with all men and holiness with, uh, without. Without which no man shall see the Lord. Ia o to tau sisi ile file mu matangata umalava. See, that is the duty of us Christian. O ta tol o kisiano, liti ofe mayesu mateo na elimono fa poiva. Blessed are the, uh, uh, the peacemaker. Amu ia e fa tu puina le file mu. And we see here, we Christian, mna mia ta to ona ta to tau sisi. We must keep the peace. Christian ought to endeavor to keep the peace of the spirit in the bond in the bond of peace. Vai frata to e le fa ma lo si ma Paulo e le Efeso le na fa. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Yet a mafaya o to onata ofi, o le loto gatasi ile anganga, ile noatanga o le file mu. The bond of peace. We need Christian, we need to have the spirit of bond in peace. Again, we could see in 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 11 that a Christian will seek peace and ensued. Now, me tato on a tato to my fight. Never my peteru in more more peteru lea a tolu alone for uposuma tassi. He says, Let ya alo esse ileanga a ya faime a lele ya sa ili ile file mo maletau sisi iai. We are to seek peace. We are to seek peace and ensue it. And then come to verse, um, let me see here, Matthew chapter 5, verse 10 and 11. Almost uh, finished. Matthew 5, verse 10 and 11. Jesus said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye. When men shall reveal you and persecute you and, say, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. We see here, persecuted and revealed. These are two things. These are traits appear negative. Or the upuna amai sawaina male. What's the other word? Revealed. They are yet uh, tied to blessing. What the word blessed is, that means the word happy. And we see here that the Christian must be willing and ready to suffer for Jesus. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 
uh, ili tatu tu watu lea mokerisho maramiamoni. We see that in 2 uh, Timothy chapter 3 and verse 12. He said, Yea, and all that uh, will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Oilato umafoyo e loto ina nonofo male a miwa tuo ya keriso yesu esawa ina lato. So again, we could see this from here, the persecuted, um, and we focus on this. So we let's go back to Matthew chapter 5. Let's just recap what we have learned today. So, and we see verse 11, blessed are ye when man shall reveal. Verse 12, verse, verse 12 says rejoice and we will begin next week sunday in verse 12 but then atato kavaina ile la unga le yesu ile unga le manga the be attitude is called the be attitude o o winga ia mam yonga eta tauna yai le kerisiano and this is before the church is established o sao yesu maya la unga atu and if you could um, see what we have studied, look at again in um, verse 3, 4, and 5. Those are spiritual. So we could see Number four. Because Because And me too as well. Because Fengo fien tato fa ya to amuye fa no no wa fa ma fan fan ina la to so on man fa nga tato ida inga le fa no no telling fa pe amuye e fa no no but that is not what Jesus is talking about we add all that me ye fa tata o fa le nganga e amata mai fa u potolu amuye e loto ma walalo amuye e poor in spirit I need God in my life. And that's what he said in verse 3. In verse 5, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. What Jesus is saying, Lem failan tato va aye i en fa ma fa na fa na ina lato lena tato wo le luo cornito na fitu na fa pu se fulu then fa ma ye yes ya 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 polo let me just take you there and then we will close um because that is still an ongoing second corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10 watch this la fa mai polo na for godly sorrow awa oleti nga etusa ile tua see Le fa no no le le fa no no le le fa me la ia e tupu wai le sala mo a uma tupu e sala mo o sala mo foi le e o o i le i le ola e a e e i le ola e le to sala mo wai so that's what Jesus said mo ia e fa no no da to ia fa no no ona o le anga sala you will be comfort you will have salvation and you if you repent. Is what Jesus says there. Again, anga fa apia o se manatu Yesu isifa no no anga fa de tino. Then it, it's good. But you do your study. Uh, I'm sharing it there because it's the word of God. Me umalava le na mai lalo le 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 fia ai mar fia inu fa le anga ile being merciful. The alem mea uwa from verse three to verse seven ol mea fa alitino ol mea fa lianganga aitano ta ato matu ulfa upe fa fa ma fa na fa na ili tu fa lian fa alitino. You know, it doesn't make sense if we 
You know, if Jesus is talking about a coming kingdom. And this time as Jesus was talking to them, in the Testament time, may the last prophet of Malachi. So, so here is Jesus sitting on the mountain and preaching to them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall be comforted. Or blessed are the meek, for they shall be uh, shall inherit the earth. But that is uh, our introduction for the beatitude. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, that has been a part of our lesson uh, this evening. Appreciate uh, you all with the wonderful comments. Um, again, go ahead and study what we have shared and uh, see it for yourself. So, so if you want to see Especially verse 4. You will be comfort. If you repent and you re, um, listen to my words, you will be comfort. That is what he means there. But if we look at this, let me ask you. I lost my, I lost my, 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 I'm still sad because I don't have them. But this is referring to the comfort, the spiritual. Now we have comfort. Now we are comfort that we can serve, we can make it to heaven if we keep his words. Thank you so much. I just wanted to share that. Uh, with you, but again, whoever uh, study and see what your conclusion can be on that. Uh, tomorrow, Lord's willing, we will have our time with Uncle Luopo tomorrow, six in the evening. Have your Bibles ready. If you have any question, if so facility, let us know. We can put your question on here, and we could try to answer it from the Word of God. Again, for Tateli Lava, Tato Ainga, Talofa Bible Reader. Thank you, NTPC, Uncle Ropo from Carson, California. Those who are watching from American Samoa, and also those who come later on and watch this. I see also Anti Seipua watching. Alofa Tele Mooi, and Mr. Foy, Lengalwenga, Ilupilele, Alofa Tele Mooto. Nao se fa manatu Samoa, lo watu nu We are to read your Bibles. We will not know the, 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 the mind of God. God bless you all and thank you so much for being part of our Talofa Bible Reader. Yes, thank you. You are my best preacher. Love you, my Pani Popo. Okay, thank you so much. God bless.